Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about something obscured, some of low budget, something from a long time ago. So yes, of course, it's another blast from the past, so to speak, I guess you would say. So here we are. So yeah, I feel like I haven't, re I guess, revisited this genre as often as I would like, especially as of late. I mean, I was talking about this genre before, but I don't talk about it often. Of course, it's a Western film, folks. This is the one I've been talking about. I mean, I'm, of course, I'll be talking about these movies rather sporad sporadically. I guess you want to get technical, but whatever. Anyway, like always, it's just get into it regardless, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, there were some gold stages that have been held up in the far away west. At a time when the United States government needs uh, quite a bit of money, I guess, just before the famed Black Friday attempted to cover, I guess, to do their thing, to corner the gold market, the government sends us on somebody and his friends, I guess you would say. Well, let's just say the Rage Busters. Yes, I'm talking about the Rage Busters again. So I haven't reviewed. Any of the Rage Busters in a good while. I mean, the Rage Busters are part of film series that show up on TV. So I guess they're kind of like episodes. I guess even call them that, I suppose. Because all these movies appear on TV. On a TV program kind of a thing, I guess. But they made quite a bit of you. The people who produced this movie make quite a few of these. And yes, I've re already reviewed a lot of these already by this point. So I'm just reviewing another entry of these series. I mean, it's, it's out of order, I guess you can say. I'm doing this out of order, technically, I guess. Anyway, basically, this trio, the Rage Busters, just want to do a good thing. They want to do what's right, of course, because it's part of their job. They want to help people, of course. They want to make sure everyone is safe, obviously. They want to make sure everyone is is all right. They want to make sure everyone is doing, doing A-okay. I guess that's what I'm going to say is make sure... Everyone is doing the, what they're supposed to, of course. Make sure the town is safe. Make sure they do the right thing. Make sure they they are in line, so to speak, I guess. But anyway, that's basically the premise. Of course, the, the villain must be stopped. Of course, the villain is up to no good. Of course, the villain is doing something terrible. So anyway, bottom line, this was pretty retaining his own way. It's not too shabby for the for what for what was done here it's entertaining of course this is another entry of the series of rage busters of course and i did think that this was well it has a well constructed plot i guess the acting was decent enough i guess the acting is decent enough i suppose so yeah of course there, there's some going to be some drama thrown in some action you know stuff like that is thrown in of course so the rage busters must work together and they have to somehow outwit the the bad people the bad people must be punished as, as i was saying earlier to some investigation that needs to be done in this case of course and yes obviously i'm gonna definitely say this one wasn't too bad in what the in what the story is about and what the characters are trying to do and whatnot so i think this one i didn't think this one wasn't too bad for or, for what is worth, I like the, I like the scenery. You can, the scenery here really gives you a sense of the wide, wild west. Oh, definitely, it really, really gives you a sense of that. Of course, can be a really appreciative. Of course, and yeah, just that's it. Really, I did like what was done here. Just I miss, I miss, I do miss, uh, I do miss this kind of thing. I really do. But anyway, I did like the idea here, the idea of the story, of course, I like how it was done in the grand scheme of things, of course, because you have to keep in mind that, I mean, yes, it's a sort of way you can tell these stories, of course, obviously, and yes, movies back then were made in a certain way compared to nowadays, for better or for worse, depending on what movie that is, I guess, depending on what's going on, I suppose. Anyway, 
I do think that uh, yeah, a lot of these types of movies were made better back then, like the Western genre. Yeah, just don't expect me to re review the more modern day Western genre all that much because I'm not going to really. To be honest with you, folks, not really. I mean, th these are the type of Western films I I used to watch way back when, folks. These are the type of movies I used to watch when I was younger. Yes, I've been around for quite some time. I've been around for quite a while, that's for sure. Anywho, but yes, nonetheless, this wasn't too shabby, of course. <laughs> I mean, okay, yes, sure. Not, not a whole lot of people would want to talk about this because I know, okay, for one, Hollywood used to make these type of movies right back when it was popular, but it's not as popular nowadays, unfortunately. Yeah, there's some there's some good movies in this genre. I've heard quite a few of them. And again, I do have a playlist of this genre, by the way, of this specific movies. I have a playlist for that. But anyway, yeah, but trends come and go. Some things that can be brought back, but still. And then second of all, as well, is that it, this is from back then. This is from ages ago. I mean, I do mean quite a while ago. So yes, because of that, people can be rather disinterested in a movie like this because. It's very old. It's really old, of course. And a lot of people may not want to watch this just because it's impact and white. Just because of that. Which, yes, of course, is kind of unfortunate because this wasn't too bad for it. I liked it. what was done here. I like the story. I like the characters. Of course. I like the scenery, like I was saying. I thought this was well choreographed, obviously. I did think that this was definitely well choreographed course but anyway i thought this way in the sense that it's low budget of course yes obviously they, there's a limit of what they can do of course there's very limited what, what they can do when it comes to this this kind of a thing but anyway I mean, as far as worth it's i thought it was fine of course and that's pretty entertaining for what it, for the story was, for the idea of the story, of course. And I guess if you don't mind this fact, this is an, it's an old movie. That's how I recommend it. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, they don't make them like they used to. They really don't, unfortunately. Yes, I tend to like these movies more than a lot of the more mainstream stuff, of course. Which, yes, is something I've mentioned quite a few times before. And I say this here again. Because it's true, for one. It's very true. And I do like these old movies anyway, for the most part, because, yes, it just come up like the stories were, the, the stories just seemed different back then, of course, when it comes to this kind of thing. I probably just want to take more risks, of course. I mean, there are some exceptions to the rule. I'm not saying all modern day films are terrible, of course. It's just that the vast majority of these more up-to-date up to movies are really my thing. Because I didn't care for them really at all. But I don't know. Maybe that's more of a me thing, I guess. Probably, I suppose. Anyway. But yes, ultimately, I'm just rambling on at this point. But ultimately, I didn't think, I didn't think this was too bad whatsoever, really. I did like the what I was trying to do here. Again, it's pretty straightforward, of course. And why not the print the copy that I, the version I watched of this film the the quality wasn't particularly great really the quality wasn't super great unfortunately but I didn't try the film anyway you can tell that this was definitely something that was popular back in the day it really was yes of course what worked back then may not work now so this was definitely a product of its time and that's true it was made in a golden era of this kind of a thing of these western movies i mean but like i said what worked back then may not work now unfortunately and that's definitely true oh well i mean yes obviously i would like to see these types of movies being brought back again but i i don't think that's gonna ever happen uh that's kind of that's kind of sad though oh well anyway i mean i'm just I'm kind of sidetracking some to some extent i suppose Anyway, just to wrap things up, yes, ultimately, as I said, I did enjoy this entry. I'll give it an overall rating 
of a 7.0 out of 10. It's a 7.0 out of 10 for me. So thanks for watching. See ya. Oh yeah, later. Oh yeah, definitely.